In the distance lies the native species of this area, the Orki. They're very dangerous and very hostile. One wrong move and he'll be coming at me. I may just be able to sneak up on him though. Now Orkies are very, very hostile. Uh, they, they were once the dominant species on this planet. Uh, however, over the course of time, their civilization fell. We're still not entirely sure why, but you can find the ruins scattered about the underground. Getting very close now. It's best if I stay quiet. is one animal I do have to sneak up on. Hey guys, this is BenRob0329 and welcome back to AMS. So today, I was thinking uh, we should probably finish up, uh, first fix that, but we should probably finish up this tunnel here uh, and getting all the stuff across as well as try to find some steel. Uh, or iron to then smelt into steel because this is a rather long tunnel and I'm thinking that we'll probably use this as a general base into going to the underground um, wouldn't be bad to finish the other side of it as well kinda probably take out this tree here uh, and build the other side of it and then maybe start work on a rail line because we could probably use one of those going back to spawn because that's good two kilometers away. So to start off, uh, I'm probably going to take the little bit of uh, slate that I have here and put that in. And then we will gather some resources. But I'm thinking, probably going to mine out all the bits in between the torches here uh, so that can place in at least half of the walls and then we can go find some materials to place in the other half. Okay, well, now that we've got that done, uh, I still have to put it in the moon brick, but I need to do some resource gathering before we do that. But I'm going to hold off on that for a bit, and we're going to have a little bit of fun. By making ourselves. Or is it with sticks? It's probably with sticks, isn't it? A hang glider. Because we've got more than enough wool to do it. And I think we've got more than a more than a high enough vantage point. We have ourselves quite the vantage point. So it's gonna be a little laggy here for a bit. Got some muddy shores. Hmm. Okay, maybe we we're not going quite as far as I'd hoped. All right. Let's see here. Going in for the second attempt. You know, I'm just going to land in the water. But what I'm thinking we can do in the long run is actually have a, uh, a glider tower that puts you like a few hundred nodes in the air, uh, if not like a full thousand nodes in the air, 
and basically lets you glide all the way over to the uh, to the other side of the map pretty much not to the world edge uh, but over near spawn and then probably setting another one up over by spawn I think that that would actually be really useful uh, for point to point travel it wouldn't be as handy as say a rail system but that's going to be really pricey to put in so I'm thinking it's probably more cost efficient rather than trying to put in rail lines and zippers and stuff even though those will be faster uh, that's going to be a lot more work right now uh, and it's going to be a lot longer to try to put in as opposed to you know a big tower on top of this hill here that lets you glide for you know several kilometers so I think that's probably going to be our next project uh, but first I need to do a bit of resource gathering. All right, so I've gone and dropped off all the crap I didn't need, and I'm gonna go mining. So, uh, yeah, cut to after mining. Now, nah. well, we did a bit of resource gathering, not quite as much as I would have liked, but it was kind of nearing the edge of the explored amount of the cave down there, uh, and. Those things stress me the heck out when I don't have anybody else around. I should probably turn on some, like, chill music or something. Just, ugh. But, I got a decent amount of coal and a decent amount of quartz. We can use the quartz to begin finishing up placing all the stuff around here. So I'm going to work on that real quick. All right, I think the chalk actually looks pretty good against the walls. This needs something else. This definitely needs something else. This front needs to go. But I think that the chalk actually looks really nice. So I'm going to use slabs so we can use just very little comparatively uh, and see how far we can go. So I've got all this done now after several hours of resource gathering and building and mining and things and it was all very boring and repetitive. Uh, and I've also built out this edge or this uh, this opening out here. Um, and obviously this could probably be improved somehow but I'm not quite sure how without you know changing a bunch of stuff. but. Generally, this is what we have so far, and yeah, no, I don't have any uh, anything quite extra on me. And I quite like the way that this entrance here looks, as a matter of fact. I think it looks very clean and very functional, since this isn't so much so a base as it is more just a big tunnel that leads to other things that we have set up. So it's kind of a base, but it's not quite a base, you know, it... It's somewhere in the vicinity of that. But while that end is actually looking quite nice, if I do say so myself, this end up here is looking a little less nice. Uh, the main thing that I'm worried about right now, a couple things. First of all, these rooms need a different floor because that just looks atrocious. And also, this is just horrid. 
So I'm thinking I'm going to take out these trees up here, kind of open up this area out here a bit, and then I'm probably going to move this whole entrance back a couple blocks so it's even with these, uh, which may be cutting that off a bit, it may not be, not sure, but combined with a bit of landscaping, I think that this could look much, much better. But I'm thinking we can probably still keep the sort of grand entrance type look for this, even though we, we're going to take out all this wood uh, by doing a couple things. While we can't make the tunnel itself physically bigger, we can make the border entrance around the outside be a little bit bigger than the tunnel itself, and that'll give it a little bit of depth, uh, and we'll also make it look like a bigger entrance. So by doing that, uh, we can probably still make this look like a grand entrance while still maintaining a fairly clean look to it. Alright, so we've got this thing cleaned off, but now I think I need to clear a little bit more space around it. Uh, we can actually probably make this look like a more more of a grand entrance like this uh, than it was looking before, but we need to move some storage things around and kind of rearrange a little bit. Uh, so, with power of editing, I'll cut to when I've done that. All right, so I got all that done. Uh, the storage system is now moved over here, uh, which that will be getting its own room in the tunnel here in not too long, but. That's not the project for right now. That will be done probably here in the near future, uh, just because it's kind of out on the lawn and that looks bad. But uh, so we have a nice big grand entrance, and you walk in and there's Jordax room. And I had to move my room back just because of the way that this ended up being laid out. The walls were gonna look really awkward, uh, so I just moved my room back and everything looks fine now. Little bits of polish on the landscaping, I think. Uh, overall, I think it looks like a tunnel sticking out of a hill. Uh, and that's kind of what I was going for. And honestly, I think considering it's a big tunnel dug through a hill, we've made it look all right. But I think that our next project should be one that I mentioned earlier, the glider tower. Now the glider tower is going to be a rather large project. Uh, and I'm not, and I'm not completely sure what we're going to build it out of yet. But I figured in this episode we could at least start clearing the area. And maybe you guys could give me some ideas uh, for what we could build it out of. So generally, uh, we're going to have to clear all of this area here. Way up on top of the hill. And you can see we're already a decent ways up. Uh, Okay, take it back. We're not that far up. We're only about 62 uh, meters above. But we can build much higher up. Now what the glider tower will allow us to do is to easily travel large distances without having to put in a large amount of infrastructure uh, up to those places. So for example, versus say a rail line, uh, which would require us to mine just an absolute ton of wood and steel. Uh, this will allow us to just kind of more gradually, but still with a decent amount of speed over time. Because uh, you do speed up as you glide. Uh, we should be able to make it, say, to spawn in a reasonably, in a reasonably short amount of time. Well, that is all the time that I have for right now, but if you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more content like this or perhaps some of the other types of content I put out. Uh, please also comment down below with any suggestions you have, especially for this build, because I don't have very many ideas other than something somewhat akin to a watchtower, uh, like a foresty watchtower, but I don't think that's going to look very good if it has to be a kilometer tall. Uh, which this might have to be. But as always, thanks for watching.